here. Hey there guys, it's the long awaited video. I mean, I know you guys don't care, but I have not been able to be patient about this at all. I um, ordered, as I mentioned, I think in one of my daily videos, I uh, ordered three items from the Chic Sparrow Second Chance Sale on September 8th. Today is September 18th and the first one has arrived. And I thought that I would be good and be able to wait until all three got here to do an unboxing of all three at once, but I am too excited and so excited to get set up for um, my October planner in whatever's in here. So this one is a pocket deluxe. I have no idea what's inside. Shall we see? Deep breath. All right. See? It's red. It's, oh my gosh, it's an Outlander. Look at this. It's an Outlander in wine, I think, or whatever it's called nowadays. What is the red one called? Is it wine? This is so pretty. And look at that. Like, I don't even know what might be considered second chance about this. It's so pretty with the, the lighter color down the spine where it folds, it's the deluxe, so it's got all the pockets, space for your two cards. It is so pretty, oh my gosh. Yeah, this is perfect. Oh, look at it, like, there is, I don't know, maybe it's the stitching or maybe it's like whatever this sort of indentation is, but that doesn't look like it'll last or stay. I have no idea. Let's see what the documentation says. Thank you, Cameron. Cal Cameron does say Outlander and the color is worn. Pocket, no inscription, deluxe. Awesome. There you go. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think it says on here what, uh, what caused it to be put in the second chance sale, but this looks perfect to me and it's gorgeous. I do have another Outlander. That's the one Chic Sparrow I own is the Verona and this is the personal size. So there's the comparison of the personal Verona and the pocket wine. And it is this gorgeous, smooth, supple leather that I really love. It folds around my inserts so beautifully. And so I know I love this and so I know I'm gonna love this too. And the color is so good for the fall. I was thinking, oh, you know, I love the bright greens, but they wouldn't make for a very good fall color. And this is going to be so pretty. Wow. And I wonder if it's like this part up here that like the stitching is slightly wonky. Like I barely even, if I'm, if I'm being really nitpicky, that would be my guess. Man, I am so happy with this. I was kind of worried that I would end up with um, an inscription or one of those riveted on plates. Um, to cover up an inscription and that would have you know, I would have still loved it I think but uh, it would have been slightly less exciting, but this is gorgeous. All right, so let's see This is the coaster I got this looks like a Darcy What's it called? It's not Tenerife Sea. That one's the Pemberley. This one is called something else No, uh, it's called that. Okay So pretty so I think I might actually use this as a coaster <laughs> And let's see, your usual full grain leather, blah, blah, blah. And the little stickers that come in it. This one says Chic Sparrow, of course. This one will be really pretty to use in my planner somewhere. And of course, the feather. So there we go. Stop. We have an important message. Very good. Awesome. All right, now let's fast forward a couple days to when I get my other packages. So I didn't mention the first package shipped out on the Thursday following the second chance sale and arrived on Monday. Uh, the other two shipped out the, that same Monday and this first one has arrived, this is package number two, has arrived on Thursday of that week and then the final package didn't get to the post office until the next day so it is going to arrive here on Friday tomorrow two weeks after I ordered it. So just for reference, let's see what's in number two. All 
All right. More of the same, more of the same. We've got, I think, a Darcy Toffee coaster, which will go well with the Titanic. The usual, the usual. I'm not going to look at this until I see it. I want to see if I can identify it. So this one is, I didn't say, this one is the um, Pocket Plus Deluxe. And it comes in a much bigger bag than the Pocket does. All right, it feels soft. It feels, oh my gosh, my set is complete. It's a time traveler. Look at this, I now own all of the Outlander leathers. And this one also looks absolutely perfect. I don't even know. What is, do you see something wrong with this? This is just as gorgeous as it looks in all of the pictures. It is of course the same buttery soft Outlander leather. And this is gonna be so great. So I'm not sure whether I want, whether I prefer the, um, sorry about my phone going off there. I'm not sure whether I prefer the size of the Pocket or the Pocket Plus yet, so I figured I would order one of each um, to see what I like, and it's good that I can compare them in the same leather, I think. Um, and of course, the Outlander is gorgeous. I think it would have been, maybe all things considered, nicest to be able to sample a couple different kinds of leather, but um, I still have my Nano arriving tomorrow, we'll see what that is. and. I definitely know that I love this leather, so I'm definitely not going to be disappointed. This is so pretty. It is really, really deep blue. And I really cannot tell what might be considered wrong with this. What's it saying here? Thank you, Lara. Pocket plus, no inscription. Nope. This one is absolutely perfect. Wow, I definitely got a good deal on these. Maybe it's, maybe it's these kind of scratches on the inside. Yeah, actually it is kind of scratched on the inside. That's weird. Of course, obviously that doesn't matter. The outside is what matters, but if you can kind of see that. I wonder if maybe, I don't know. But that does not bother me at all, really. It's so beautiful. It's so soft. I can't stop petting these. All right, number three, let's see number three. And the last one's here. This one made it earlier in the day than the other two, uh, which is good because I was able to get it at my lunch break instead of having to wait until the evening. So this one is gonna be the uh, Deluxe Nano. Let's see what we got. Look at all that stuff later. Tiny little bag. Ooh. Oh, awesome. This looks like a Pemberley Castle Rock. I was really hoping I would get a Pemberley because I've been wanting to see what this leather is like. And wow, look at that. There's a little bit of a maybe bite there. I don't know. Um, the Stitching maybe is a little bit off in the corner here, but I can't really definitively say again why this is a second chance notebook because it looks great. I, I knew I was going to be happy with whatever I got um, because apparently you can't get engravings on the Nano and I don't really care what color it is. I just want you know to try one of the small ones. I think I'm going to try to use this as a wallet. That is so pretty, and this Pemberley leather, oh, it's got like some uh, variation there. There's like bigger sort of elephant wrinkles up here at the top, and then it's really fine pebbling at the bottom. That's a really great uh, representation of the different grains in the leather there, and it is so beautiful. It's really soft and like flexible, because apparently this is the same leather as the Darcy but then stuff is done to it and it's treated differently and just the difference in flexibleness like is really um really noticeable all right let's take a look at the other things uh confirm okay i think yesterday i said that this was toffee this might be buttered rum and maybe this is toffee or maybe they're both the same i cannot tell if anyone watching this can tell but this is another um another darcy sample apparently. 
I could be wrong, but it looks like the same kind of texture on the back and the same smooth, uh, shiny texture on the front. And they're very similar. This one has like no color variation at all. And this one has a little bit of striping. Um, and let's take a look here. Thank you, Cameron, again. Pemberley, Castle Rock Nano, no inscription. It says surface abrasions outside is circled. So I wonder if that's maybe this tiny, I mean, I doubt you can see that. I think this might be what they're talking about, but that's like within the, uh, the margins of what I would expect after it's sitting in my purse anyway. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to go get um, a little moleskin that'll fit in here for some notes and I already got a card holder so I'll be able to uh, set this up as my wallet so that I won't be using um, my bullet journal as my wallet. I will be splitting those up uh, starting in October. So that is the final one. So pretty with the white elastic too. So those are the three. Um, I was really excited to get these and I hope you enjoyed watching my reactions to the unboxing. Um, be sure to stay tuned. I've been doing live videos, or sorry, I've been doing daily videos all of September in a sort of one month in my bullet journal style um, project where I am going back to the, the, uh, the basics of the minimalist writer Carol bullet journal system. So check those out if you have not been following along and are interested. Um, I'm going to be posting the um, October setup in on the first Thursday of October, I believe is the plan. I'm going to be setting up in the um, the first notebook I unboxed the uh, wine and then uh, continuing to post videos uh, after October, I'll be posting three days a week every Monday, Thursday and Saturday. So go ahead and subscribe if you're interested and I will see you guys later. Bye.